Hi, good evening. This is Ferdinand. This video will answer the assignment for business enterprise subject, laboratory number two, where the question was to enumerate and explain briefly the steps of the procurement cycle. What are the 10 steps of the procurement cycle? By the way, this assignment is quite familiar as I am working as a purchasing specialist here in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And for you to know the 10 steps of the procurement cycle, the first step is the need recognition. What does it mean? The business must know if needs for a new product, whether from internal or external sources, then the product may be one that needs to be reordered or it may be a new item for the company. Step number two is to specific need. The right product is critical for the company. Some industries have standards to help determine to help determine the specifications. So part numbers help identify these for some business. Other industries have no point for reference. The company may have ordered the product in the past. So if not, then the business must specify the necessary product by using such as color or weight. Step number three is the source options. The business needs to determine where to obtain the product. The company might have an approved vendor list. Then if not, the business will need to search for a supplier using purchase orders or research a variety of other sources such as magazines, the internet, or sales representatives. The company will qualify the suppliers to determine the best product for the business. The step number four is the price and terms. What does it mean? The business will investigate all relevant informations to determine the best price and terms for the product. This will depend on the company if needs commodities, readily available products, or specialized materials. Usually, the business will look into three suppliers before it makes a final decision. And step number five is the purchase order. The purchase order is used to buy materials between a buyer and a seller. It is specifically defines the price, the specifications, terms and conditions of the products, or service in any additional obligations. Step number six is the delivery. The purchase order must be delivered, usually by fax, by mail, personally, or other electronic means. Sometimes the specific delivery method is specified in the purchasing documents. The recipient then acknowledges the receipt or the forces order, then both parties keep a copy on file. Step number seven is expediting. Expedition of the purchase order address the timelines of the service or materials delivered. It becomes especially important if there are any delays. The issues must often noted include payment dates, delivery terms, and the work completion. Step number eight is the receipt and inspection of purchases. Once the sending the company delivers the product, the recipient accepts or rejects the items. Acceptance of the items obligates the company to pay for them. Step number nine is the invoice approval and payment. Three documents must, what, must match when an invoice requests payment. The invoice itself, the receiving document, and the original purchase order. The agreement of these documents provides confirmations from both the receiver and the suppliers, and any discrepancies must be resolved before the recipient pays the bill. Usually, payment is made in form of cash, bank transfers, credit letters, or other types of electronic means. And finally, the step number 10 is the record maintenance. In the case of audits, the company must maintain a proper record. This includes purchase records to verify any tax information and purchase order to confirm warranty information. Purchase record represents future purchases as well. And the second question is, what are the steps in the supplier evaluations and selection process? Please elaborate. The supplier evaluation and selection process are as follows. The step number one is the supplier identification. The first step in the SRM method is called supplier identification. The, com 
the company must sort out and identify all its suppliers to whom they paid invoices over a certain period of time. That's how the supplier identifications will work. Second, the supplier segmentation. This is an important step. The long list of suppliers to whom invoices have been paid must be segmented. Segmentation helps to find those suppliers that are capable of contributing to the business strategy. And only this limited number of suppliers are worth the time and effort to build a close relationship and partnership with. Step number three is the relationship analysis. Mainly for the top segment suppliers classified as an interesting to build a partnership with. The company must determine the existing relationship type. This is realized by using the supplier relationship analysis tool. Step number four is called the relationship management. Mainly for the top segment of suppliers, the existing relationship type needs to be managed towards the ideal relationship type, which is the leverage core relationship type. And finally, the evaluation process. On a regular basis, the SRM results and lessons learned need to be documented and evaluated. This will lead to a series of recommendations towards the business, like integrating the top segment suppliers for new research and development activities or proposing to restart the step number two, which is the supplier segmentation. So remember our five supplier evaluations and selection process, which are supplier identification, supplier segmentation, relationship analysis, the relationship management, and the evaluation process. That's all for our laboratory number two for business enterprise subject till our next activity. Goodbye.